We have multiple people that look at our documentation on a nationwide basis, on a state or local basis, whether that is a Medicare contractor, whether that's a physician, whether that uh, is a managed care group. There's many people who look at our documentation for many different reasons and purposes. For some claims, it can be um, $100 for some of our smaller Part B claims. For some of our Part A skilled claims, we can be talking claims that are twenty, forty, sixty, eighty thousand dollars $80,000. When we receive an audit, a denial, a request for documentation, the facility or customer provides that to a Consanus representative within 14 days. As soon as we receive that, we go into assist and support mode. We can identify the specific type of audit or request. Um, based upon that, we instantly know the specific time frame. Some of those can be as short as 30 days. Sometimes we have 45 or 60 days. And each type of audit, we will be able to support the facility in knowing what specific that auditor is looking for and because of that how best we want to follow up. We're fully invested in this process because we're right alongside the facility with it being at risk. We indemnify the claims as long as the timeliness of communication um, and um, all of the thorough processes are followed that we ask to be followed so we're right in this risk along with the facility. It is very difficult to stay up to date on all the information surrounding this area. Who are the auditors, how they communicate, what they're looking for, what's the best way to respond. And that's one of the reasons that we're so important in this process. At Consanus, we set ourselves apart in a couple of different ways. First, we're students of the denials and appeals process. We network with all of the best experts around the country. We communicate directly with the different auditors and contractors. We will attend in-person conferences. We'll read different materials that are provided. We're very intentional about knowing each um, of any updated material that comes out. And then two, we're different in how we set about the process. We truly intend to be partners with the facility and a support through each and every step of this where they're trusted advisors and their experts. We don't necessarily turn the process over to the facility or our rehab director. This process goes through a central person uh, that is an expert in the material and can help them with the timeline as well as the best response. I think we're the best in the process for our tracking and our timing of um, this process. I think we're the best because of our knowledge and our experience in the process. I also think that we're the best in the way that we support and help our facilities with this. And I think our success shows that. I do like being an expert or an advocate in this process because I think it's very important that we stand behind the services that we provide. When we provide the services, we truly believe that the services are needed and necessary for the patient and they're going to make a difference in this patient's quality of life. And I believe it's important that we present ourselves in a very clear, concise, and an expert way.